In Crusader Kings 3, you usually play as a legendary historical character. But today, I'm instead going to play as someone a bit more familiar. I will be playing with myself in Crusader Kings- Oh god, oh god. What the fuck? Today, I will be playing as myself in Crusader Kings 3. Chieftain Koifish of Nirik of House Koifishon. With a very very thought of Dynasty Shield. With things that matter a lot to me personally. The house motto though, that makes absolutely no sense. I'm not exactly great at the character creation tool, but I did try my very best and use my friends and ask them if they thought it looked accurate. Now I made my character as close to me as possible in looks and in traits, as well as location. That's right, I rule over the holding of Örebro, a town that I have lived in. Famous for having a water tower that looks like a mushroom. If you yourself have consumed mushrooms. Chieftain Koifish personality can be based on the three G's. Gregarious, generous and gluttonous. And honestly, they do describe myself quite well. I also went with charismatic negotiator. As I have a bachelor's degree in communication and rhetoric. I went with adventuring because in my life I have gone on some pretty stupid adventures. Uh, we're so far up. As well as hail. I do go to the gym quite often. And by that I mean like two times a week. Sometimes not even that. My character starts at 27 and it's already a bit behind the real koi fish. For example, I'm 27 now. Oh man. First thing we should do is to get a wife. Now sadly, Mrs. Koifish is not in the game. But the most accurate way to get a real Mrs. Koifish would probably be to search for a physician. As my wife is an actual doctor. Now sadly, none of these court physicians look like my wife in real life. Gosh damn it, my plan backfired. But before I get back to playing as myself, this video is sponsored by Square Enix. And they just revealed a bunch of content coming to Final Fantasy XIV Online in the next expansion, Dawn Trail. Embark on a magical journey with the introduction of the Pictomancer, a brand new ranged magical DPS job wielding a brush as its primary weapon. Starting at level 80 with no associated class, this imaginative job turns fantasies into reality with its instant cast abilities and spells. And get ready to explore the stunning landscapes of Tyrol, uncovering the mysteries of Solution 9, and engage in cosmic exploration as players collaborate to craft and build across different planets. The Dawn Trail expansion promises a unique blend of creativity, technology and exciting gameplay, making it a must play for Final Fantasy XIV Online enthusiasts. And for those that haven't tried the game yet, there's the amazing free trial that lets you go on an epic journey spanning three award winning games, including the base game as well as the expansions Heaven's Ward and Stormblood, up to level 70 with unlimited game time. Available for PlayStation 5 and 4, PC and Steam, Mac, as well as coming to Xbox in Spring 2024. So what are you waiting for? Start your free trial today by clicking the link in the description. Not only do you get an amazing game to enjoy, but you also support the Koi Fish channel. Now back to the video. Now this is where actual Koi Fish diverges from Crusader King's Koi Fish. As I did not in fact marry a Russian woman. We're going to go with this woman however. Gydia Skuld of Blekinge. She's brave, lustful and cynical. On top of that, she's also a cunt. Great marriage material. Only downside is that she's from Blekinge, which is a horrible place in Sweden. My idea is that I'm gonna do a few things that I've done in real life. Already, we've gotten married. Now we just need one kid. That's the bare minimum koi fish. You can do that. You should be able to do that. Our leech is Jarlbjorn Ironside. Hello. But while he's off fighting in the Sons of Lothrock invasion of Northumberland, I'm gonna take my modest army of lads and go raiding. Now koi fish has actually never gone raiding in real life. But I have visited a lot of cool places in Europe. First stop, Finland. Moi moi, my fellow Finns. Just kidding, I'm not Finnish, but I'm here to finish you off. In a raiding sense, in like violence, I'm violent, ah, violence. Oh, I've been invited to shift and Torfin's bloat. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. That sounds lovely. As long as I'm not the one being bloated, all right? Brutes are a vital part of the Osadru faith. A faith that I, Koifish, does not actually follow. I'm a good Protestant boy like the rest of the Swedes. The brute is finished. It was wonderful. <laughs> I captured Svetlana. I'm giving you a cool job. Who said I wasn't a nice guy, huh? I'm a really nice guy. Boom. Raiding down. That means that it's time for me to do something very holy. I'm gonna go on a pilgrimage. I want it to be a pious pilgrimage. And I know exactly where to go. Upland. It's a very, very short distance. But Koifish has actually in real life visited this wonderful holy site. Welcome. 
we're gonna go with a very humble and small group. We literally just went with me and three of the lads. The wolf god impresses me, and I have walked the holy path. It's me and my short boy Rarek. We're having a great time here in Upland. I stop in front of a small temple. The building is comparatively bland and humble, but a small crowd of pilgrims has gathered in front of it. I realize that they're scratching their heads and trying to make sense of the plaque next to one of the guardian statues, written in a foreign language. My boy, this is Danish. For heaven, they have a guardian stone? Oh my lord. It's actual Danish. As I'm out doing my pilgrimage, a merchant grins at me. If someone grins at you in Sweden, that means one of two things. They're trying to kill you, or they're trying to seduce you. Either way, you're in for one hell of an evening. What kind of wares do you have, huh? Tell you what, I'm a sucker for a bit of coin. Let's see what I can buy. Upland, it has been an honor. A small pilgrimage, but a pilgrimage nonetheless. Time to return home. Oh, and I sell the wares for double the amount? My boy, I literally made money by going on a pilgrimage. I'm over here in Westmanland. And we stumble upon a local food market. I am 100% sure what this is. Surströmming. We have to eat it. I become ill. I've been invited to Jarl Ivar's hunt. Ah, the peg-legged man that I'm trying to steal land from. Absolutely, my dude. I'm now a father. A son. No, we can't name him Anders. Anders Flanders. That's a ridiculous name. We will name my little boy Styrbjörn. Literally meaning the bear that stares. Well, would you look at that, wife? We've got ourselves a baby boy. This is literally me and my wife when we got our son. Yeah, there he is. He's ours. That is wonderful. Wonderful, I say. But Baldur's Ball over here. He's being very rude as we're traveling. Listen, I'm just gonna ignore him. Now we're out here hunting. Look at the whole crew. Oh my lord. We're hunting wolf. Dangerous. Dangerous game to hunt. Ah, we're cornering the wolf. Let's go. Ah. The hunt failed! Hey, it's not about how many animals you kill, it's about how much fun you have. And I had, uh, well, not that much fun, but I did try at least. Oh my lord, I'm about to turn 30. That's literally my biggest nightmare. Just kidding, getting older is baller. I'm going to romance my wife. That's cute, I'll sing her a love ballad. You know, I do sing a lot to my wife. You have a beautiful voice, my lord. Well, that I've never heard from my wife. <laughs> Baldish Balle, get out of here! You're trying to smooch my wife? No! This isn't supposed to happen! My boy, I'm gonna give you five bucks to heck off! Listen, I'm gonna get this man killed. I'm gonna get Balder killed. Where is he? Balder, I hope you die in Polabia, huh? That's what you deserve. God damn it, Crusader Cucks 3, don't do this to me. I'm gonna do the biggest mistake of my life and go to England. Ooh, we're stealing! We're stealing! Wolfers has never stolen in his life. But as a raider, it's not stealing, it's our culture. Ba Balder! I paid you off! Balder, I will kill you! I will have my revenge, Balder! One does not schmunk another man's wife like that! I won't even give you the chance! Ho ho ho! I'm coming for you, my love! She's disheveled and weaponless, opposite her! <gasps> it's a huge stag! I punched the stag in the face! You are my soulmate! Oh my lord, it's just like in real life! Wow, beauty and the beast! I won't tell you who's the beauty or the beast, you can figure that out yourself! Mrs. Koifish, my actual wife! Does this look like you? A bit? Very cool. Does this look like our son? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is going fish when you let our son do this. Wait, I'm literally over here in Cambridge. I've taken the Cambridge National Exam of English or something like that. It obviously didn't stick. <laughs> and I now have a claim on Westmanland. Why is pregnant again? Oh my lord, I'm gonna have to raid more to pay child support. A daughter! Wonderful! Little baby girl! We will name her Astrid! Oh my lord, it's another baby! I'll name the boy Koifish, why not? Little Koifish, Koifish on Koifish son! Balder! You will die for your stupid actions! Goodbye, Balder! <laughs> That's what you get for looking at my woman! Well, we won the war, and that gained us a nice bit of prestige. Now, talking about winning one war, with my new prestige, I'll add a few more Hus cards. We also got the Gunnar of Skagen! Gunnar, make me some Skagen röra. That's delicious. Skagen mess. <laughs> I put it on my on my sandwich. Mmm, delicious! Or Ivar of Berislagen. I'm literally gonna steal Westmanland. I'm gonna stop his Åland ally. Take them out right away. Divide and conquer, my dudes. I'll take Westmanland. Thank you very much. Just like in real life, I am koi fish, and I'm not getting any younger. If I aim to become the king of Sweden, I'm gonna have to climb up in the world. And right now, when I look up on the ladder of success, the supple bottom of my leech, Jarl Rikulfur Hildursson, the Jarl of Östergötland. So, uh, I'm gonna take his land. But to be able to claim his title, I'm gonna need a lot of prestige. So we're gonna host a grand tournament in Westmanland. Oh yeah, WWE. He's standing for Erik. Erik is the guy that organizes these fights. Let's go! Oh, literally me in front of the mirror at the gym. Get me out of this metal prison! My squire took offense at my manner. 
Bro, you stuck in this order. I can't help you. Gunnar! Get the bolt cutters! There's another man in the chainmail stock. Ah, but here we are. I'm ready. What? What do you mean I die wrestling? No, that's not how koi fish. No. What do you mean? Yeah, all right. I feel like we get a redo of that. Gosh darn it. I can't just die like that. <laughs> oh yeah, it's wrestling time. And and this time I'll keep my neck very steady. I'm ready. Let's go. Who is this Polarian to beat me in my own tournament? He cheated. He cheated! I, uh, I still get to qualify. It's my game. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm still in. And Gunnar got knocked out. Gunnar. Gunnar of Skagen. Gunnar Gunnarsson. Well, I'm in the semi-finals. Completely legitimately. <laughs> I weave left to avoid an incoming grapple. And as he recoils, I unleash a mighty two-handed clubbing blow to both sides of his head. He's combobulate. Arnie bellows in agony. Trickles of blood rolling out of his ears. He is, uh, he's messed up. Jarl Sigurd of Halland, please. Seek medical attention. I won my own tournament by completely legitimate means. And it looks like we're gonna fight here. And another daughter. Wow. Look at you, Linda Colby-Dotter. Papa is a bit busy fighting. He's fighting the small Eddinger. Oh yeah, Söderköping is ours. Now this is called Söderköping because there is a Norrköping as well. But if Västra Rus is so cool, then why haven't they made a Östra Rus? Well, they have East Hammer, so uh, you know, you can't get everything. I'm going to Venice. So this koifish has actually been to Italy once. I went to Luca and it was uh, absolutely beautiful. Now this might start an absolute gang war in the comments. But according to me and most of my fellow countrymen, it is very much fine to put ketchup on pasta. Like spaghetti and, and macaroni. Whenever I mention this fact to my dear friend Zimo, he literally pukes. It's like a Pavlovian response at this point. Tell me down in the comments please. I think it's normal. The beast of her brew! It's Ragnarok Koifishon Koifishon! He's been he's been wearing a boar skin for a costume. Uh, over at my summer house, we have huge boars, and uh, if I saw a child wearing a boar skin, I'd shoot it. Ba bam! I'm home! And my son has grown up. What a shit. Steerbjorn Koifishon Koifishon! And this guy's having a tournament. Well, off we go then. We're doing board gaming? <laughs> Sure. Oh my lord. Eastern of Murring throws the table. Yeah, well, I won. Thank you. Why am I playing board games against a bunch of Norwegians? That's not my life. This is not me. I'll pull the king's gambit. I hecking lost. Well, there's always next time. Can I leave now? Please, I have a war to fight. If a Norwegian ever invites you to go board gaming, you say no. But say yes when you're fighting in a war and taking the chiefdom of Kinda. Very nice. That means that my liege is now the king. But I have bigger ambitions than this. I am now the duke of Österjötland. That means that it's time for me to claim my liege's throne. I will go to any land for this. But to celebrate... I'm gonna have myself a little feast. The best darn feast you've ever seen. In Urubru. We're going all out. We're balling. Mega feast. Can I seduce? <laughs> Jorvang. No, I'm not about that life. Can I murder him? No, why would I? He's, a, he's my friend. Well, for the rest of the evening, I shall just relax and de-stress. As my inept concubine Halas talked towards my friend Jorvagon with a seething agony in eyes. <gasps> She's right to shank him. I grabbed the closest thing that can be used as a weapon and charge. Halla! It was in self-defense. The woman put me in a self-defense position. Damn, that's the mo that's the mother of Astrid. <laughs> Ooh, well, a feast in Örebro wouldn't be a feast in Örebro unless someone tries to kill the honorable guest. And you also had a child with that woman. A very, very great banquet. Now, you want to arrange a betrothal, huh? Your Torgils Ivarsson of Bergslagen wants to marry Karin Koifish, daughter Koifishon. Well, you did call her impressive. Fine, since you asked so nicely. And we'll need all the allies we can get. Tell you what, can we marry away some more people? What about my son? What about my eldest daughter, huh? Karin, look at this woman, that's a good woman. And a daughter, little Meta Koifishon. Wow, how many kids do I have? Eight? That's too many. I want it to be like a little football team. My... My plot to claim the throne, it failed. Ah, but I will take it from his son. Koifish has come of age. Would you look at that? Is Koifish, Koifish on, Koifish on? Is this what my child is gonna look like? Well, uh, marry this woman. She's literally called nasty. I don't know, that's too funny not to do it. Marry this nasty woman. A little nasty and Koifish, Koifish on, Koifish on has gotten Koifish, Koifish on, Koifish on. Of course, my first grandchild. Koifish, Koifish on, Koifish on of the Koifish on dynasty. Look at you, little boy. I'm gonna educate you. Come to, come to Farfar. Come to Farfar. And your van supports me. Everyone wants me to become the king of Sweden. You can't stop me. And I'm 50 years old. Holy moly. 
tell you what, before I fall off the bucket, that's not the saying, coinfish. I'm gonna have a hunt in Riseberga. And we're going all out on this one. Bring out the whole family. We'll have a great hunt. In a rare moment of reprieve, I spend some time in silence, taking in the beauty of nature. I hear my wife softly laugh. <laughs> my love! She holds up the bloody remain of a hair. I slew this coinfish. Coinfish, don't say that word. Coinfish! Do not say that word, coifish! I became the owner of a great hair hide, and I banged my wife. Wonderful! And now it's time for me. I will rule Sweden. The claim is ours. Nothing can stop me now. Now the question is, do I do it with the large blade or the small blade? Yes, more alliances than I can count on my fingers. On one hand. <laughs> but on the other hand, oh, I have some alliances as well. I start a claimant faction. Perhaps some of the men is willing to help me out here. Give me the kingdom of Sweden. Or give me death. I'm first in line to inherit him. <laughs> King Erikir, my dear friend. Let's have my son Styrbjörn and your daughter Iliana Eriksdotter be wed in a grand wedding ceremony. And now, let's hold a glorious grand wedding. Except, let it be a bloody one. I'm not organizing a wedding. I'm planning a funeral. Leech? Leech, won't you come? I can... I can challenge him. I suddenly feel... Stupid after having done this. All the guests have gathered in the yard. A wonderful and sunny day. I look over at my men. The guards I so promised as the gracious host. Heavily armed. Soon my preparations shall come to fruition. I see Iliana, his daughter, arrive. Every member of the Offmanso house must be wiped out. <laughs> oh, even his sons too. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I'm so sorry for what I'm about to pull off. The wedding ceremony is here. And... I'm literally the one that's marrying them. This is unironically so me, as just a few days ago, I literally baptized my own son. But they're now married. May your life be long. At least for you, Styrbjörn. But no, I have pneumonia! My boy, fix me! Fix me now! You mistreat me! No! I don't want to die! I'm literally only 53! Quickly! Quickly, we have to we have to finish this wedding. How long does a wedding last for? The guests are engaged in so many conversations that it's difficult to keep track of all of them. Iliana is surrounded by a group of keen courtiers, all complimenting each other. Whether the distraction is a pure coincidence or fate, I cannot tell. As I'm literally coughing my lungs up from my severe pneumonia. I signal to my servants as I bite into the pomegranate cakes. My men enter the hall, disguised as mercenaries. The doors are locked. And the music starts playing. Let the massacre begin. The house of Munza ends here. Oh, cruel, cruel destiny. Why am I not king? He left the wedding venue. You little rat. That's it. I challenge the king. Come here. I raise my axe. Even with pneumonia. I must win this. You outsmarted me. That red wedding was for you. With the sword, I heal the good. Scum. Headbutt him. I win. I win the fight. I am victorious. I am <gasps> the king. King Koifish of Sweden. Huzzah. Huzzah. Raise a runestone about how I became the king of Sweden. And, you know, probably promptly died right thereafter. Move the capital to the rightful place. Urebro, which actually was the capital of Sweden for a bit. And he dies from his wounds. <laughs> I am sat at my table, about to break fast, but all hunger has left me. Something feels amiss. I see my champion Reifer somberly approaching. My king, a messenger arrived in the night bearing grievous news. I'm afraid your father, King Koifish, Died of pneumonia. It is said that the last thing he did was laugh at the news that King Erikir died. But very cool because I'm the king of Sweden. And that, my friends, is, uh, I guess, what it would have been like if I was in Crusader Kings 3. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. And do check out the video that I got inspired by. Melo Scott playing with himself, as himself. Very, very cool. This has been Koi Fish. Hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have fun playing with yourself. I mean, at yourself. Okay, bye.